Flash flood watch in effect through Thursday morning. Flash flood watch for all Hawaii Islands through Thursday morning. Morgan, it's Jenny. Hey, I got a call from the captains, and they said we can't go tonight. I don't know what to do. We have to go. Call Pat or Wayne and see if they can't convince them to call the guys, because if we don't go tonight, we're not going to go at all. This is our only chance. I don't know what to do. Just give me a call. Bye. Hi, Jenny. Sorry I missed your call. I'm not sure what to do with this either, but we have to figure something out. We've come way too far to let them end this for us here. starts with an idea. If you ask Morgan, she'll say it's my fault for saying yes, but the way I see it, this was her brainchild. It's not exactly like I'd always dreamt of paddling from Big Island in Iihau. In fact, it wasn't until last year when I began training for the Molokai to Oahu race that the thought of paddling across any channels crossed my mind. When Morgan first approached me with the idea, I didn't give it much thought before I said, sure, why not, it sounds like fun. The idea was to stand up paddle across all the channels that link together the Hawaiian Islands. The goal was to raise awareness for the issue of plastic contamination in our oceans. Our dream was that it would be an adventure of a lifetime. Not only would we paddle some 300 miles across three degrees of latitude, but we'd get to explore some of Hawaii's most beautiful, exotic locations. And so, Destination Three Degrees was born. Morgan is a dreamer, a free spirit. She's more comfortable in or around the water than on land. Land, land is tough for me because I'm clumsy and I fall and I trip and I hurt myself and I just I don't fit in here and I don't understand why and but when I step foot into the ocean it's like my you put your head underwater it goes quiet which I love it's just it makes me sound like such a hermit but you don't hear complaining and you don't hear anything other than just silence and water and if you listen really carefully you can hear whales or fish eating the reef or it's just this different world and for me I've always felt like I belong there. She's always the first to jump in and explore while I hesitantly look around for fins or any sign of potential danger. She grew up as a competitive swimmer among the elite which explains why she's so comfortable in the water. It's her nature, her background, it makes her who she is. She's also extremely stubborn and when someone tells her that something can't be done She'll show them that they're wrong. She'll quietly prove her point, not for the satisfaction of being right, but to show herself that it is possible, even when no one else believes.